showing off its balloons in Sri Lanka. A team from Google at a recent youth festival here displayed the technology for the project it calls the Loon Network. We're trying to bring internet to two out of three people on the planet who don't have internet coverage. We're using high altitude balloons, 60,000 feet above the ground, that can send a signal down to the cell phone you have in your pocket. Sri Lanka has more than 3 million mobile internet connections and 630,000 fixed line internet subscribers. That means about one-fifth of its population is already connected. The Google balloons will have a 40-kilometer radius range. 13 will be needed to cover the island. Sri Lanka was among the first countries in South Asia to introduce mobile phones, 3 and 4G networks. The country already has impressive internet bandwidth, but the loon network would mean that the entire island, even remote places like this, would be covered. Google says lower costs are the main advantage over current internet operations. The balloons can be very inexpensive. The plastic in the balloons is the same plastic you get when you get a shopping bag at the store. And a lot of the electronics in a balloon are similar to the electronics you have in a cell phone. The cell phone industry has helped bring the cost of the GPS chips and the small uh, you know, circuits uh, down enormously. The head of the Information and Communications Technology Agency says the project will bring innovation. I mean, we're just after a war, after long uh, years of 30 years of war, and you know, we need to leapfrog in many ways. And we've taken the stand that we are going to be leaders and we're not going to be followers in this particular area. Kanagi and the Minister of Telecommunications and Digital Infrastructure introduced the project to young people at the festival. The minister was asked about some concerns over allowing Google, a US tech giant, to run a communications network in Sri Lankan airspace. There's no security threat at all, and we have uh, gone through it, and we have run through it, and it's a pure technology that connects people, and that's about it. But it's not been smooth sailing. In February, the first test balloon came down in tea country with a bump. Google denied it had crashed. It said it was a controlled landing. Then the display balloon was punctured by scaffolding. That and high winds meant it couldn't be fully inflated. Tests will take up to a year, after which a project that the country hopes will be another technology first may really get off the ground. Miner Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Colombo.